testing the audio here to see if it's sounding okay for this morning's mass. Perhaps uh, if you're out there, if you can hear it, you can let me testing know. Testing the audio here to see if it's sounding okay for this morning's mass. Perhaps uh, if you're out there, if you can hear it, you can let me know. Testing the audio here to see if it's sounding okay for this morning's mass. Perhaps.
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, Lord, have Christ, have Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my work for forty years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, They have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty years I was weary of that generation. I said, this people's heart goes astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. 
Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. If you were listening to that Gospel passage and it sounded awfully familiar, you're not having a moment of deja vu. We just heard that passage last Friday, just before we finished the Christmas season. That passage was Luke's perspective. Today, we hear from the Gospel of Mark. Instead of focusing so much today on that interaction between the leper and Jesus, I want to instead shift the focus just a little bit on what happened after that encounter. I find it very interesting that even despite our Lord insisting that he does not publicize the matter, the leper went about everywhere proclaiming that good news of his healing. It would be something that would be kind of hard to keep under wraps, someone that was formerly a leper, to go around and just kind of keep a low profile after that. People would have noticed that someone who was once you know, cast out of society, once uh, hated by many because of fear for that disease, all of a sudden is now perfectly well and going about his daily life once again. It's almost as if it was, uh, you know, built into this miracle that it was an opportunity for evangelization and to spread the good news of Christ. And I think when it comes to evangelization in general, this has to be the motivation. It has to be one of gratitude after looking at our lives, reflecting on what has happened to our lives, the various areas of our life that has been healed by our blessed Lord, we naturally want to share that. Evangelization cannot be about meeting a certain kind of quota at the end of a year and you know, getting a certain you know, uh, quota or arbitrary number of persons. And it can't even be about competition. It can't be about, oh, well, we want to be the church with the highest number of new parishioners this year. It can't be any of those motivations because people naturally don't really put their effort and energy into those things. Rather, it has to be one of sharing of what has happened in our lives. To that effect, all of us have moments that we have been healed, whether it be from sin in the confessional or in other areas we've had our prayers answered in the past. Even perhaps if it was after a long time, you know, our Lord does provide everything that we need according to his good providence. And so that has to be the motivation for inviting people back. Perhaps today, during this ordinary you know, time, we can reflect on those areas of our life that we too have been healed and use that as the motivation to continue to invite people back to our practice of the faith. God bless all of you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when, no, nope, that is the wrong preface. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, Robert his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember your servants, Michael DeLeo and Joan Juanito, for whom this Mass is being offered, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This time we'll offer a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen.
us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.